but there are two ways that you can get to the php info page uh the first way is uh, what we just saw by echoing out php info from within your php script or file uh, the second way is um, going to the browser and then type in localhost uh, if we go to php info the php info page comes up okay now going over the php info page as you guys could see we have other technologies there is configuration for apache 2 handler apache environment uh, the server that we are using is apache um, if i come here on the zam control panel you see we have the apache server and the mysql database so scrolling down you see other technologies uh, there is uh, http headers information for request um, if i just keep going down there is uh, my sqli that connects to the database and so on um, i don't want you guys to worry about all these uh, other technologies that are here okay or configurations uh, what i want you guys to pay attention to is uh, the php configuration and now uh, the php file for php configuration is the php die ini file as you guys could see configuration file php die ini here at the bottom we have been provided uh, the path to that file so loaded configuration file we have the path to that file uh, let's say um, you want to change uh, the time zone to be uh, default the time zone of where you are in order to set that configuration within uh, your php you have to go to the php diner file you look for time zone and then passing the value of the time zone that you want to set the time zone to and in order to uh, set a configuration uh, within the php diner file you could do that in two ways the first is by going into the file that is i'll go to this part if i open uh, uh, my uh, document uh, I go to driver uh, for those of you using map you may need to go to application so if I go to my C drive ZAMP PHP and then I scroll down to the bottom I locate the PHP die in I development file okay there is two the development and the production if you want to set your configuration you need to open that in a text editor i can open that in a text editor and uh, configuring uh, the time zone i will need to search for that because this is a really huge file to just be scrolling down the file to look for something could be very uh, tedious so for me to look for uh, time zone if in case i want to configure that uh, i will do Control f for the find uh, uh, pop up to come up and then look for time zone date or time zone date dot time zone okay uh, let me find that and then go back and as you guys could see we have the area for date it defines the default time zone used by date function so here if you define um, a time zone that is to say when you are using php date function the default time zone that you are going to define here is what is going to be used by the date function if i come here now and then i pass a time zone and save this file let's say i pass a time zone america america slash uh, chicago and save this file my default time zone is going to be the time zone that i have passed here okay uh, and in order to set a time zone in php you will need to go to let me go to php you could go to google and then set uh, search for php search for php time zones okay open that up uh, if you set in a time zone in america you click on america um, you're gonna see how you can set time zones in america okay if you set in a time zone in africa you click on africa you will see on how you can set time zones in africa that is to say if i want to set my time zone to another time zone i could just put that here okay when you see how you can set that up you you pass in the value here that is the first way that you could do it i don't like doing it this way uh, what I prefer doing is 
I will go in my PHP script and then I will do any set okay and then you pass in the parameter that you want to configure in that case it is going to be date dot time zone if I copy that in here and then I pass in the time zone the value it is passed as key value pair okay if I pass in the value as America slash New York okay and then I come down and use the PHP date time function I do date and then I pass in how I want that to appear hours minute seconds since I am doing echo it means I want to see this in the browser if I go back to the browser now and refresh if I scroll to the top you guys are going to see that I am getting a time from a date and a time from the New York time zone okay if I change the time zone to Chicago let's say I change that to Chicago okay and then I come back to the browser and I refresh you guys are going to see that the time has changed now I am getting a date and a time that is within the Chicago time zone okay so that is how you you um, uh, configure your PHP DIY file um, within the DIY file there is a lot of uh, uh, things that you could configure uh, let's say for instance you want to configure the max execution time that is the time that it should take for your script to be executed otherwise PHP should throw an error so if I look for max execution time okay execution let me find that coming here as you guys could see we have a max execution time equal 30 seconds okay um, there are uh, situations where um, you may be working on a project where you may have to use uh, the PHP slip or use slip function to delay uh, certain executions if you're using that then you may want to uh, configure the max execution time and to configure that you will just need to come in here and then change the number of seconds you can change that to 45 if you're editing that within the php that in our file but because i am doing it from the php file to do that i can come here and then i do in it in the set and then pass in the parameter that i want to configure that is how you configure your php params passing the parameter that I want to configure and then change the time I can change it to 45 okay that is to say instead for PHP to throw an error after 30 seconds if in case I open the PHP page and then it takes more than 30 seconds the page hasn't opened instead for PHP to take 30 seconds PHP should be taking 45 seconds now okay you could do that if you are delaying execution time within your script so that is how you uh, configure your PHP um, you could also uh, configure the file let me look for file let me search file file size you could configure file size file sizes if I look for that uh, that is not for max file sizes let me look for that um, you could also search for that uh, let me find that again upload let me look for upload okay all right I have uh, information on that okay now coming down to the bottom as you guys could see there is file upload on um, and then here this is what I was looking for there is upload max file size all right now you can only upload two megabytes of file size if in case you have a file that is more than two megabytes you would need to change this for you to be able to upload that file and then down here uh, there is the maximum number of files that you can upload uh, from a single request there is 20 if you want to change that to something more or less you can change that okay um, so that is how you configure your PHP um, 
you are going to configure based on the requirement but it is good i have shown you guys how you could do it you could do it either from within your php file or you open this in a text editor and then search for the parameter that you want to configure and pass in the configuration value okay i'm um now i want you guys to take note on this before you start writing your php code always make sure that the display errors on your php configuration is set to true because without that as you guys could see display errors default value on it's uh, okay that should be on make sure the display errors is set to on because without this if you write uh if you make an error in your php code you are not going to have any display error to tell you that you have made an error in your php code as we go over this you guys are going to be understanding these things much better so always check to make sure display errors is set to on our development environment is uh, what we are working on right now we are working on a local development environment uh, development life cycle you work on your local development environment and then push the code to development environment where it's going to be tested and then from development environment it is pushed to production environment where uh, the public could view your code okay so whatever you do in the local development environment is the same code that is going to be sent to the development environment um just explaining that to you guys but focusing on uh why we're here it is for the display error always make sure the default is set to on okay um i guess um that is it for this section as we go through uh there is more things that we are going to be covering um, um so uh, i will see you guys in the next section